Hello and welcome. Hey, my name's C. Scott, and today we're going to look at the Primal Core mod. Have you ever wondered how to get through day one and to survive day one with Primal Core? Well, if so, stay tuned, because that's what we're going to go over today. All right, so you've loaded into a new world with Primal Core in it, right? Absolutely. And so what do we got to do? And the very first things you're going to want to do is get as much gravel, clay, and sand as you can possibly get in the amount of time you can. I'd say you spend about a half a day trying just to get enough of this, okay? Because uh, you're going to want this and you want lots of it okay now there's two ways that this happens one your mod pack may have where when you select and you break down this gravel that it's actually coming in gravel pieces and you got to put them together but straight out of the box if you got a primal core and you're using it as a mod right now it's breaking this stuff straight as you normally would with minecraft right absolutely so that's what we're wanting we want to grab as much of this as we can get okay and we're gonna We'll probably get, yeah, we get, do we get all this? Okay. Once we've got that, we're going to move on to clay. We know we don't need a ton of clay, but we want to get as much as we can. Okay. Just, just to do it because it also goes into helping with some other things. Now, again, if your mod, the Primal Core has the ability to be able to change things up a little bit, and there's some configs in it that'll allow you to, when you break things like dirt, that it comes in four pieces or three pieces of dirt. So that's why you want to get all this. You want to get as much sand as you can also, okay? The, once you get these, we're sitting pretty good. And it's, but you want to spend as much time because it's going to get dark. And if you're playing with Primal Core, there's a great chance that somebody's going to load this with some mobs that at night are not very much fun. If you know what I mean, all right? So that's what we want to make sure that we're not doing is, is we're setting ourselves up for the first night because it can be absolutely miserable your first night if uh, if you don't have everything set. Okay, so we've got a lot of this going. The next thing we're going to want to do is punch some trees, okay? Because the Primal Court mod alone should not allow us to, to, if we break this, it should not allow us to have this. See how that works? We can't pick up wood like normal, so we have to break. Let's let's break this sucker down. You see how the sticks we're getting? That's what we want. We need sticks too, and so there we go. We'll take this. The next thing after this, after we get enough sticks, the very first thing we're gonna do is go and find grass. And here's a bunch of grass over here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna harvest as much grass as we can, just like this. Okay, and we will pick this all up okay so now we've got 24 of these the very first thing we're going to want to do is we can we can take this flint and we're going to want to find stone and you're going to rack this or knack it against this so by left clicking you see how that worked now we have one piece of flaked flint now it's not a hundred percent that you're going to get that every time but now that we've got one we can take and we can craft our very first thing which is a flint hatchet okay that will allow us now to harvest trees so day one, we got to get into harvesting trees. So you guys see where we're going with this, right? You've got to do that. You've got to be able to get, and then you can let these despawn, but I want to pick up some extra sticks. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, almost there. Okay, now we're going to move on to this tree. The next thing after all that, you want to spend the, the rest of the time, or at least a good, another portion of it, picking up as much wood as you can. Okay, and that is pretty easy once you have this hatchet. Okay, and there we go, and we'll get this one too. And so all of these things are basic Minecraft things, but you want to get them as quick as you can. So you may ask, can we craft a crafting, will this allow us? And most mods are going to turn this off, so you can't just do this. What you will need to do is to get your first crafting bench or crafting table is do your flint hatchet with an oak piece of wood okay now we have this and I've got this little area set up over here let's we'll just place this over here this will be our little basin where we start things okay easy enough and there's where we go now we can we're gonna go ahead and craft through all of this basically we're gonna take and get as much gravel as we can and turn it into flint because flint tools are gonna be the very first thing and you're just gonna knack it against it and we just keep going and it's not a hundred percent return and that's what's 
but it does give you some extra. You can get a couple here and there. So we're going to knack all this up minus about four, okay? Because you're going to need a couple extra. Oh, and they fly everywhere, by the way, if you can't tell. So we got 11, and 11 is going to get us a good start here. Uh, what we want to do is first get an axe. So an axe is going to be you take, again, you're going to take your plant fiber, turn it into plant twine, and place it right here, one and two. And this will give you your half flint pickaxe. Boom, simple just like that. Okay, now we want to do a, s a shovel, right? Shovel is going to look something like, uh, again, you're going to need to have your plant twine. And it'll go right here. A shovel is his and one stick. There is a shovel. Okay, now we saved some of that, right? We've got four left. And the next thing you're going to want to do is a, is a knife, okay? And a knife is going to be something like this. Here, oh, let me, ah, here we go. Here, there you go. You need to plant twine, you need one stick. You're gonna put one, two, three, and four, and then you're gonna take one flint up top there. That's gonna give you a working blade. Now this working blade can do all sorts of great things for you. Check this out. You can get more plant fiber out of it by doing this. Uh, you, you can't do that, but I'll show you what we're gonna do here with this in just a second. So now that we've got this, we can get some cobblestone up going. And so there's our cobblestone, okay? Easy enough. Now you may ask, why did you go ahead and pick up all the sand and clay? Well, if you are not lucky enough to have the the configs turned on where you can do it like this and you're getting straight cobblestone and everything, you're actually getting here, uh, let's see if I can show you all, you're getting rock, okay? And the rock here is just pretty simple, rock. So you get, you get a bunch of these coming in. Okay, and I'll just take some and then I'll show you what we're gonna do with the rock. Okay, and actually all of these things, so if we look at sand, which is, oh, I didn't want that. <laughs> well, here we go. But the reason why you want rock is, and the clay and the sand is, we wanna build some binder first and the binder looks something like this, okay? or mortar, I'm sorry, mortar. So that takes mortar and then you can build cobblestone this way. And if you are unlucky enough to have the mod pack developer set your stuff up so that you can't, you're not actually harvesting straight cobblestone and straight sand and everything else, you wanna, you gotta, you're gonna have to do it that way, okay? And that's how you get your basic furnace. But you got it, you wanna get into a furnace as quick as possible. All right, so after you get your furnace down, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to get into is getting some charcoal. And the charcoal we're gonna get by first taking our flint wood blade and we're gonna we're gonna click, right click against our, our our pieces of log, right? Yep, and do not place those next together. Uh, it seems to be there's a glitch, or actually it doesn't really work because if you were trying to take off all of the bark, you couldn't if it was next to each other, right? Absolutely you can't. And, and if you think about it in real life, the next thing to do is, is we're gonna, Right click against these with our ax. You hear that nice sound and it's gonna break those up like that. Check that out. So now we have split logs, right? Yes, we do. So here's now the last piece of this is we're gonna create four plant fibers to get us a tender bundle. And in this tender bundle, we'll be surrounded by these split logs. Now we have a oak log slab or uh, oak log stack. So you may ask, okay, what are we gonna do with that? Well, we're gonna bury it. Okay, so we'll put it right down here and we'll put it there. Now. You can't really do anything with it because you have no way to light it just yet. We don't have flint and steel, do we? No, no, we don't. And so we got to get a little more plant fiber. Actually, we've had plenty there, but here we go. Let's just grab up a little bit more here and we can finish this off here. Well, those are odd. <laughs> oh, okay. And either way. All right. So we've got, we're going to need two of these. And we're going to take the rest of it, it'll go like this, and the sticks here. And that will get us what we call a fire bow. Okay? And we should be able to light our, our log here. Whoa, not what I wanted. <laughs> there we go. You see how it's lit? And then now once that's lit, then we place a piece of uh, dirt over the top, and now it's going to smoke. That'll smoke down, and it'll turn into charcoal for us. Charcoal is going to be what we get to get our unlit torches. So if we look at torches, and what's gonna happen is, is this torch is not gonna be available to you. You got some 
some very, very crazy people that want this hard for you, right? Absolutely. So they're going to only make this unlit torch portions available. And why am I grabbing that? Here, let's get rid of that because we're cheating here. We're seriously cheating. But, oh, this, okay, it's still going. But you got to let that go. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let you guys go for just a second. I'm going to let this go ahead and end up uh, turning into charcoal. It takes a little bit of time. Okay, so you want to do this inside your base. Once you've got this, then the best thing is, is to burrow wherever you're going. Okay, you just get in underneath and get you some sort of a hidey hole because you're going to need it. Because again, these developers that create these mod packs are going to have something pretty crazy in there. Okay, and you do not want to be outside at night. So I will let that go, and in just a second when it's done, I will rejoin you, and we will actually finalize kind of the day one stuff. Well, our charcoal is now done, right? So we'll break the top here off this, and now you see we have charcoal stack. So break it with your pickaxe, boom, and now we have charcoal right easy 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 stuff and we got a sheep over there so to make our first torches we're going to want to again go plant twine one charcoal and one stick and that'll give us an unlit torch okay so how do you light a torch well you place it up there now you take your fire bow and you're going to click on it okay here we go there it goes okay that's how you do it once that's done then you can light torches you can light the other ones off of that one. Make sure you always keep one kind of lit somewhere where you're at. And that is really, how do you get to day one? Uh, as far as you got a flint pickaxe here, you got a hatchet, you have a shovel, and you got your working blade. Now, let's come over here and let's get rid of some of these cows and see if they'll drop anything worth a hoot here for us. Okay, there we go, perfect. Come here, I need I need in there. Come here, we just, come on guys, get. All right, there we go, okay, almost there, almost there. Come on, there, come on. I just don't want them running all out. Here we go. So we now have all of this uh, cow pelt right here. So to get that, what we're gonna need to do is a couple things. We're first gonna need to get us a saw, a flint saw to be specific. And that looks something just like this, okay? And I cheated, so guess what? We gotta get rid of it. <laughs> While we do that, let me, let's just do this. Turn that off, done, done, here we go. Now we're gonna look at this stuff here. Here's our actual recipe for it. Again, plant twine, two sticks, and two flake flint. So here's one plant twine, and we will craft it this way with the two sticks. Now we have a saw. Now you ask, why do you have the saw? Because what you're gonna get is it helps you get your logs. And if you keep breaking this down, you'll notice that you'll get, come here, one log gets you a heck of a lot of stuff. So we got one log got us 32 oak slats. And what are we gonna use our oak slats for is a drying rack. And so we want a drying rack. So we need to create some pins, some more cord, and then two slabs. So these pins are done by, not. you don't want the iron pins, we want just wood pins. Wood pins are a stick in our flint work blade. So our flint work blade and one of our sticks will give us two of these. Now we're almost there. So here's this and this. And the last thing we're gonna need to do is put the two pins here, pin here, pin here. And let me, let's get us a little more wood going. So it, it saw, there's that. Okay, here, here and cordage the two pins and the oak slats across the top boom boom and boom now we have one drying rack now you're going to want to put that on sand okay so we have a piece of sand here in our inventory here because my understanding is sand makes it go a little bit quicker so we'll place that there and now we'll take our cow pelt and we're going to have to break the cow pelt down when we'll take one at a time here with our with our knife our work blade here and that's going to give us raw hide okay and you're once you get the raw hide you're going to have to actually do salt okay so there's a couple types of salt around okay you've got this which you're going to get the net salt there okay and 
we want a salted hide. So we need to get some sort of salt. Okay, now salt is found in different areas throughout. Um, I'm, you, you may need, this may not be a day one thing. Okay, but we are going to, I'm gonna bring just a bit in for us here so that we can actually do this. Okay, and we'll just pull some of this there. But you, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna salt up your actual hide like this. Now you've got a salted hide, right? Yes. And in place of salted hide, just left click it on there. And now that's going to actually dry out. Once that dries, uh, I think we're gonna call this hide. Yep, once this dries, it's gonna look like this dried hide here. All right, what, what do you do with that? Well, let me come over here and throw away a bunch of this stuff because I really wanna show you guys how you do. So we don't need that, we don't need that. Uh, charcoal, we may need a bit of. We can get rid of this, 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 and this just so that you guys can see exactly how we're gonna do this because we're gonna pull in some dry hide. Uh, what you're gonna need with dry hide and also, uh, let, me, let me grab this sand, see if I, oh, it all came back to us. So we will, we need to, in here, get going one, two, three, because we need some bottles, okay? And that should be pretty quick here. And while that's going, we just, again, here, I don't need all of you because we want to show you guys exactly how you get this done in somewhat a sort of fairly quick manner. Because leather, the first time I played this, was kind of one of those things where I didn't have any idea how to do it. And so that's what I'd like to show you all, is how do you do the leather piece of it. And this should be the last piece. We'll get glass. Okay, glass, we turn into bottles. And now we go get some water, which is just down here. Now. Primal is one super, super cool mod. There are sharks in it. There are bears. There are wolves. There are everything you could ever think of in this mod pack. And if you guys want to see more and more highlights of this mod pack, let me know and we'll do more. But my f biggest thing right now is making sure that we understand what do we do on day one. So before we go any further, we need what we call resin. Okay. And it, it looks something like this. Okay, ground resin. Okay, and the, the recipe for that's going to be for, for the bark. So we're gonna have to go out here again and put out some more wood here and here. And then we're gonna have to pop that with our work, with our work blade again. Remember, shift right clicking. Come on, there we go. Okay, so now we got four total. And what we can do is we can turn that into ground resin. Ground resin with water bottle will give us our bottle of tannin. And then you take your bottle of tannin with one dry hide, and that gives you a tanned hide, right? And that then goes back on the drying rack right here. And once that dries, that will be leather for you. So that is how you do leather, and that's how you kind of survive day one. Uh, the biggest thing is that is I truly believe that some of these mod pack guys are not going to make it very easy on you. So you want to get, you want to get gravel, you want to get clay, you want to get sand trees and you see you want to get some wood and you want to get a lot of plant fiber right off the bat those couple things will at least keep you alive for the first night so you can do some mining because that's where you need to get to right absolutely once you get to mining it all is good uh because you, once you get your pickaxe going then you can get cobblestone then you can get a furnace once you've got a furnace you can then you're, you're set for for day one so, Primal Core is a huge mod with all sorts of cool things, right? Absolutely super, super crazy stuff. There's everything you could ever want to think about in here. And it kind of adds a little bit of complexity to the beginning game, which is really, really nice. Kind of it extends that early game. It kind of gives you a different way to go about it. So, if you have enjoyed this, Please leave a like, please leave a comment and let me know. And we'll go through a full mod spotlight on this, showing everything from all the different waddles to the in, these grates to whatever you wanna see. I'll even throw some bears out there at us. All right, so please check this mod out and if you it, find some mod packs where it's in it because this is a pretty, pretty stinking cool mod. So until next time, y'all, hey, my name's C. Scott. And I do appreciate it. And we'll see you all again very, very soon. Mm -hmm.